Hi, I'm here today with the Enrollment Services team to introduce the seven steps to enroll at Henry Ford College. The seven steps were recently introduced when a continuous process improvement team met and discussed communication to prospective students. As a result, the seven steps were formatted and as the Enrollment Services team, it is our job to carry those out and our first step is sharing this with the campus community. As a campus community member, it's important for you to know the steps. You never know when you'll be approached by a prospective student who's interested in learning more about the college. So I'll turn it over to the Enrollment Services team so you can learn more about the steps. Step one, apply. We encourage all prospective students to apply for admission online. Go to www.hfcc.edu slash apply. If a prospective student is also applying for financial aid, they may visit hfcc.edu slash finaid for more information. Applications for admission are imported daily. Applicants are marked pending until we receive their official high school or GED transcript. Step two is requesting admission documents. A student must supply us with either a official copy of their high school transcript or an official copy of their GED certificate and it must come from their high school or the GED Center in Michigan. It can either be emailed to us or faxed. It stops the student from registering. The student can complete step three, which is orientation, step four, which is testing, and step five, which is consulting with an advisor. But without having that document on file, the student cannot register. Students can also request their high school diploma through parchment.com. Step three is orientation. We offer several orientation sessions for students and even an orientation session for parents prior to each semester at Henry Ford College. Orientation provides information for our students so that they can learn about the college and everything we offer right from the start. As a student applies to Henry Ford College, they're notified in their acceptance letter that they can log on to the HFC website at www.hfcc.edu forward slash orientation and choose the day and time of orientation they'd like to attend. At orientation, we talk about getting started at Henry Ford College. From the admissions process, through course placement, advising, and registering for classes, we also talk about student success strategies and support services that we offer at Henry Ford College, such as counseling, advising, our learning lab, assisted learning services, and even a career services office that we have. We also talk about campus activities, such as our WHFR radio station, athletics, and student clubs that they can join. And then lastly, we talk about their options for paying for classes. The last thing we address at orientation is the importance of becoming familiar with WebAdvisor and accessing their HFC Hawkmail email address. Step four is participate in course placement. Course placements are assessment tests given to identify a student's skills in math, reading, and writing. The tests are free and given in a walk-in basis in the Welcome Center. They must bring a valid photo ID and arrive at least two hours before the Welcome Center closes. Um, an academic advisor will review the results with the student to find an appropriate starting point for math and English courses. The COMPASS test may be taken twice, but not in the same day. And if they want to take it a third time, they must get approval from uh, an academic advisor. The HFC Learning Lab has test preparation materials, exam study groups, and one-on-one -on -one assistance to prepare for the test. The English placement test is waived if the student scores 18 or higher on the ACT English test and also a six or higher on the ACT writing test. The math placement test is waived if a student scores 822 or higher on the ACT math test. The students may visit the assessment center, which is located in the Welcome Center, and the HFC website for more details. Step five, meeting with an academic advisor. An academic advisor session is an important first step for a new student here at Henry Ford College, and it is a requirement to make sure that they get on the right course toward taking classes toward pursuing their degree. An academic advisor is going to look at their scores and make sure that they are registered for the correct courses and also maintain and monitor their pathway towards graduation. An advisor is also going to make sure they take courses that are part of the program and not any unnecessary courses 
that may require additional debt and also prolong their time here at Henry Ford College. The advising office is open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 6.30, and Friday from 8 to 4.30. Step six, register for classes. Students can register online from any computer that has an internet connection or use computers available in the Welcome Center. Students will go to webadvisor at hfcc.edu forward slash webadvisor. They need to click on student in the middle of the page and then log in at the top of the page. They will enter the webadvisor username and password they received in their acceptance letter and click on schedule planner. They'll select the term they're registering for and they'll click on add classes and select the courses their advisor helped them choose for their program. If there are days and times a student cannot take classes, they'll click on add break to identify these time elements. At that time, a list of links will become available, each representing a full schedule based upon the courses, dates, and times or criteria they entered. Students can select the schedule that works best for them and make a note of the section for each course. Then they'll return to WebAdvisor, click on Students. They'll click on Register for Sections, Express Registration. They'll enter the noted subject, course numbers, section numbers, and term. They'll hit Submit, follow the prompts, and they're registered. Step seven is Pay for Classes. Students are billed once they register. Once they register, they will be emailed to their student Hawkmail account, a link to the enrollment services calendar, and a confirmation of their registration activity. There will also be information about payment deadlines. Students can view the tuition and fee schedule at hfcc.edu forward slash tuition. If they choose to pay cash or check, they can come into the Welcome Center and make payment at the cashier window. If they'd like to pay with their credit card, they can do so through their WebAdvisor account. Students also have the option of setting up an installment pay plan, Easy Pay, also through their WebAdvisor. For those using financial aid, they can apply for financial aid and get information on how to apply at hfcc.edu forward slash finaid. Students may also apply for scholarships at hfcc.edu forward slash scholarships. They can log in and they'll see a list of scholarships that they can apply for. Students will want to do this the academic year prior to their start date. We also have students that are here that are sponsored by their employers or using MET. They can find information on these programs on the cashier page on our website. For VA students that are planning to use their VA or veterans benefits, they can contact veterans at hfcc.edu or visit hfcc.edu forward slash veterans. Regardless of their method of payment, students can visit the Welcome Center Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. or Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. to ask any questions that they might have. They can also call the call center at 313-845-9600. Now that you've heard about steps one through seven, I'd also like to share how we're in integrating the steps with our services and communication. We have new letterhead, which includes the seven steps. So no matter what communication a student receives from the enrollment area, they'll know which step they have to proceed to next. We have things like new postcards and new flyers that we're using. And we have also integrated the steps with the signs and colors in the Welcome Center. That concludes our seven steps to enroll presentation. Thank you for listening and we hope that you will now be able to communicate to students and share this information with them. Feel free to contact us in the Welcome Center if you need any additional information. Thank you.